Today's battlefield is the Bamboo Adventure Pack, where participants have been challenged to capture their opponent's flag. This challenge has been designed to test and build teamwork, strategy, and goal achieving focus, the needed basics in today's business world. The participants all geared up to protect their turf and capture their opponent's flag. The battle starts now. Hi everybody, my name is Josephen. Um, second runner up for MTN Paul's Business Challenge 2022-2023. I am excited to be here today and I cannot wait to find out what this challenge means for the contestants. Uh, it didn't go as I expected. Mm -hmm. I thought that one would ease. We had, uh, how I say it, we had this kind of, we thought we were the best team. Mm -hmm. We had all the athletic people on our side. We thought we had the athletic people on our side. We thought we'd just sweep through, but unfortunately, it wasn't like that. I don't know how the results would turn out. All right, so what strategies did you deploy in there? Okay, so um, the first round, we deployed this 2-2-2 two, two, two strategy where um, we are at the latter base. So two will stay behind, two will go right, two will go left. So that one was actually it and i was supposed to be the decoy like sacrifice myself in any case okay. which i did mm -hmm. so i was going and once i took the flag i jumped uh, a tire which i wasn't supposed to be so that was the first strategy we all focused on attacking rather than defending mm -hmm. and most of us don't even know how or who took our flag which is quite unfortunate That's right you put that two together when it comes to business sometimes once you start a business afresh you have this brand new energy and understanding of what to do and how it goes and might go on well so with the second one since the first maybe the first time had worked well you might get this kind of ego or overconfidence that you can do it again which i think in business is not really right you should have a little bit of self-caution in it so that it can help humble you and um, analyze the pain so well well it's good having you here yeah. but if should you go back in there who would you like to shoot 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 who would i like to shoot solomon <gasps> solomon okay. shot me numerous of times my own partner <laughs> <laughs> Right, so it was lovely having you here. Looking forward to seeing you again. Okay. High five. Like when you are the base and then you are targeting an intruder and you don't actually focus on them well. Not, uh, you shoot your own partner thinking oh, it's your opponent. Oh. Yeah. So that's that. Likewise, or maybe make a signal or something yeah. like that. But we didn't get that. But all things be equal. Everyone's was okay. Right. So, um, how does this mean to you? How would you put this apart with business? So, relating this to business, you wouldn't know what your competitors are bringing on board. Mm -hmm. So, you must always have a backup plan. Right. You see, so maybe you're in the same line business with other people. You don't know what they are bringing on board. Even if they rebrand or do anything, mm -hmm. it can also bring out yours for them to see that. Also right. So now, final and bonus question to you. Who would you like to shoot? If I need to shoot, um, Fifi. Fifi, Felix. No, so you will shoot Fifi, yeah. you shoot Felix. Yeah. Reason? Fifi, shot. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> For me, Felix, I wanted to really shoot him, but then I didn't really get to him, so I think he. He came for our flag. Yeah. They passed my back. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, he passed my back and then shot me, you know, shot my helmet and then took the, the flag away. Personally, the game was like a battlefield as mm -hmm. it was depicted. So it means a lot that I was in a team. So you being a team is different from you working alone. So you have to know the abilities or the talents of your team members, I'm coaching them how to move left oh, and right. Yeah. But then you notice that people have different mm -hmm. abilities. Some want, some want to be in the front line, some want to be behind. I tried moving the front line before and I was shot. I came back and I noticed that no, I'm not for the front line, I'm in the middle. It's about adapting to the situation and finding the possible way out. So bonus and final question. Oh, okay. If you go if you were to go back in there, yeah. how which people would you like to shoot? The ladies. Because what, they mafia you? No, it's not like mafia me. It's hard to find them. They always hide themselves under their good. hair. No, no, it's not like they are very good in the battle. Mm -hmm. They are like the snipers. They are hidden. So it's difficult for you to identify where they are. If I go back there again, the first move is where are the ladies? Because they don't move. They don't just move around. They are at one particular place. So you have to identify them. Okay, they are here. 
and you plan your move and go there. So they are the person that will keep them fed. So it was lovely having you here. All the best for the rest of the competition. Thank you. Hi, Brainy, team captain. Lovely to have you here. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes, please. What was, what was the most fun thing you did in there? Well, it's actually, we did a teamwork and also we we're defending as much as improvising to our opponent's territory. So it's actually fun. It, it was challenging mm -hmm. and interactive. Yes. So um, as a team lead, what are some of the strategies you deployed to ensure winning sure, for so, your team? Yeah, thank you very much. Because we had um, two girls on our team, they, all, all the people had masculine, they were all males. So we had to drop the females back and then the males had to improvise. Saying the men are very sweat and very in the haze and then hurry. So we had to make the girls defend and then the guys to invade in our opponent's territory. Everybody is swept by, we have levels. You get it. So that is actually. And the levels for the women? Yes. Well, they were actually, let's say they were neutral or intermediate, but the men are very strict. Extra. Right. So, how would you relate this to business? So, you see, in the real um, firms and the business corporate firms in the out, uh, outer area, or let's say in the exterior, so in the field or in the framework or in the business firm, we don't actually have to take plans by our own. We all have to sit up and all try to share plans idea because I'm saying answer a need back So we have to collaborate, we have to be collectively. Right. So doing that, I think in the business firm, and uh, in every business firm, if we collaborate, if we take ideas from your subordinates, the people under the lower level, when you go to intro to management, you have the top level management, the middle level management, and then the first line, which is the last. So we all have to, they all, everybody has what they do. But if you are all coming up, collaborating, bringing up ideas and building teamwork, that's actually it. Because when it's teamwork, it works more faster and it becomes more strong. Yes. Hey, Nini. Uh, How has today been for you, today's challenge? It was exciting. Mm -hmm. really that's just it? Yeah. Okay, so um, what has this taught you when it comes to business? What's your take home from this particular challenge? As business, you have an opposing team or you have competition, mm -hmm. and you have to find ways to back up. Right. Right. So, what's your highlight from this entire competition? Which part stood out for you the most? I think the whole competition was very interesting. But there's no particular point where I'm like, oh, I'd like to do I this again. From, from today, I like to do it. Nice. It was exciting. Looking forward to see you. Find out in the next episode who is making it to the next stage of the hands-on show.